today we're doing the finishing touches to Denise's hair. Now this is the same process that we've covered already. However, we're being a little bit more subtle and a little more purposeful with our textures. Ugh, this is getting repetitive. Remember how I said I'd show you a trick to not getting blue shift from your white? Before you get all trigger happy on me and start painting all this white blue all over your image, add a drop of orange to the colour cup. Once mixed, your white should now have the slightest of orange tinges. If your white looks like the A on this t-shirt, you've used too much. Now when I say we're being more purposeful with our textures, I mean you should probably have the majority of the hair done. However, this is the time for creating highlights and the foreground of the hair. The only reason you'd need to flood the hair with textures at this stage is if you're unhappy with the colour. You're not unhappy with the colour, are you? Just notice how I'm putting all of the white textures that I'm creating now into the highlighted sections of the hair. I'm happy with the dimension. All I'm doing is manipulating the perception of depth in the hair. Anyway, let's move on. I need that. So maybe I wasn't entirely happy with the colour of the hair. And I have gone over a little bit more with the white than what I normally would. It's because I want to make the hair a little more golden yellow. So I'm going to repeat our step from the previous tutorial. Just lightly colouring whichever sections of the hair that you feel need to be changed. Take note that it's a transparent colour that I'm using. Ugh, this is getting repetitive. Now it's probably difficult for you to see exactly what I'm doing here, but after adding that last layer of yellow, I'm just going in with white once again and re-establishing some of those obvious highlight textures in the head. Now with water-based paints especially, it's difficult sometimes to create great detail yet have good coverage of that same colour because you need to over-reduce the paint so much. So, I may end up using a different medium to create some of the main highlights in the hair, even on other parts of the face. But we'll cover that in the final Denise tutorial. Tweaks and highlights. Whee! And by how much this is all growing, massive thank you for spreading the love. Come on, come here. Give me a hug. Come here. Shh.